Good morning. Welcome to Christ the King's morning prayer service. This is Tuesday, March the 8th. Our opening sentence is from Mark chapter 8. Jesus says, if anyone would come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. The confession of sin found on page 11. Dearly beloved, the scriptures teach us to acknowledge our many sins and offenses, not concealing them from our heavenly father, but confessing them with humble and obedient hearts that we may obtain forgiveness by his infinite goodness and mercy. We ought at all times humbly to acknowledge our sins before almighty God, but especially when we come together in his presence to give thanks for the great benefits we have received at his hands, to declare his most worthy praise, to hear his holy word and to ask for ourselves and on behalf of others, those things which are necessary for our life and for our salvation. Therefore, draw near with me to the throne of heavenly grace. Almighty and most merciful Father, we have erred and strayed in your ways like lost sheep. We have followed too much the devices and desires of our own hearts. We have offended against your holy laws. We have left undone those things which we ought to have done. We have done those things which we ought not to have done. And apart from your grace, there is no health in us. O oh Lord, have mercy upon us. Spare all those who confess their faults. Restore all those who are penitent. According to your promises, declare to all people in Christ Jesus our Lord. And grant to most merciful Father for his sake, that we may now live a godly, righteous, and sober life. To the glory of your holy name. Amen. Almighty God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, desires not the death of sinners, but that they may turn from their wickedness and live. He has empowered and commanded his ministers to pronounce to his people, being penitent, the absolution or remission of their sins. He pardons and absolves all who truly repent and genuinely believe his holy gospel. For this reason, we beseech him to grant us true repentance and his Holy Spirit, that our present deeds may please him, the rest of our lives may be pure and holy, and that at the last we may come to his eternal joy through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O oh Lord, open our lips. And our mouth shall proclaim your praise. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. The Lenten Antiphon is found on page 30. The Lord is full of compassion and mercy. O oh, come, let us adore him. The Venite. O oh, come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us heartily rejoice in the strength of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and show ourselves glad in him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great king above all gods. In his hand are all the depths of the earth, and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands prepared the dry land. O come, let us worship and fall down, and kneel before the Lord our maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. Today, if you will hear his voice, harden not your hearts, as in the provocation, and as in the day of temptation in the wilderness, when your fathers tested me and put me to the proof, though they had seen my works. Forty years long was I grieved with this generation and said, It is a people that err in their hearts, for they have not known my ways, of whom I swore my wrath, they should not enter into my rest. The Lord is full of compassion and mercy. Oh, come, let us adore him. And I have the Psalm reading and the New Testament reading. The psalm appointed for this morning is Psalm 18, the first 20 verses of it, beginning on page 285. I will love you, O Lord, my strength. The Lord is my rock and my stronghold and my deliverer. My Savior, my God, and my might in whom I will trust. My buckler, the horn of my salvation, and my refuge. 
I will call upon the Lord who is worthy to be praised. So shall I be saved from my enemies. The waves of death encompass me. The floods that would, would swallow me up made me afraid. The cords of the grave surrounded me. The snares of death overtook me. In my trouble, I called upon the Lord. And cried unto my God for help. From his holy temple, he heard my voice. My complaint came before him. It entered his ears. The earth trembled and quaked. The very foundations of the hills shook and were removed because he was angry. There went out smoke from his nostrils and a consuming fire out of his mouth. Coals of fire issued from his presence. He parted the heavens also and came down. And it was dark under his feet. He rode upon the cherubim and flew. He came flying upon the wings of the wind. He made darkness his secret place. Dark waters and thick clouds were his covering round about him. At the brightness of his presence, his clouds broke forth. Hailstones and coals of fire. The Lord also thundered out of heaven, and the Most High gave forth his voice. Hailstones and coals of fire. He sent out his arrows and scattered them. He cast forth lightning and destroyed them. The springs of water were seen, and the foundations of the world were uncovered. At your rebuke, O Lord, at the blasting of the breath of your displeasure. He reached down from on high to grasp me. And he took me out of many waters. He delivered me from my strongest enemy and from those who hated me. For they were too mighty for me. They confronted me in the day of my trouble. But the Lord upheld me. He brought me forth into a place of liberty. He delivered me because I had found favor in his eyes. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Today's New Testament reading from the Gospel according to St. Matthew, beginning with the 17th chapter, the first verse, the Transfiguration. And after six days, Jesus took with him Peter and James and John, his brother, and led them up a high mountain by themselves. And he was transfigured before them, and his face shone like the sun, and his clothes became as white as light. And behold, there appeared to them Moses and Elijah talking with him. And Peter said to Jesus, Lord, it is good that we are here. If you wish, I will make three tents here, one for you and one for Moses and one for Elijah. He was still speaking when, behold, a bright cloud overshadowed them. And a voice from the cloud said, this is my beloved son with whom I am well pleased. Listen to him. When the disciples heard this, they fell on their faces and were terrified. But Jesus came and touched them, saying, Rise and have no fear. And when they lifted up their eyes, they saw no one but Jesus only. And as they were coming down from the mountain, Jesus commanded them, Tell no one the vision until the Son of Man is raised from the dead. And the disciples asked him, then why did the scribes say that first Elijah must come? He answered, Elijah does come, and he will restore all things. But I tell you that Elijah has already come, and they did not recognize him, but did do him whatever they pleased. So also the Son of Man will certainly suffer at their hands. Then the disciples understood that he was speaking to them of John the Baptist. Jesus heals a boy with a demon. 
And when they came to the crowd, a man came up to him and kneeling before him said, Lord, have mercy on my son, for he is an epileptic and he suffers terribly. For often he falls into the fire and often into the water. And I brought him to your disciples and they could not heal him. And Jesus answered, Oh, faithless and twisted generation, how long am I to be with you? How long am I to bear with you? Bring him here to me. And Jesus rebuked the demon, and it came out of him, and the boy was healed instantly. Then the disciples came to Jesus privately and said, Why could we not cast it out? He said to them, Because of your little faith. For truly I say to you, if you have faith like a grain of mustard seed, you will say to this mountain, move from here to there, and it will move, and nothing will be impossible for you. Jesus again foretells his death and resurrection. As they were gathering in Galilee, Jesus said to them, the Son of Man is about to be delivered into the hands of men, and they will kill him, and he will be raised on the third day. And they were greatly distressed. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The canticle for this morning is the Kyrie Pantocrator. It can be found on page 81. O Lord and ruler of the hosts of heaven, God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and of all their righteous offspring, you made the heavens and the earth with all their vast array all things quake with fear at your presence. They tremble because of your power, but your merciful promise is beyond all measure. It surpasses all that our minds can fathom. O oh Lord, you are full of compassion, long suffering and abounding in mercy. You hold back your hand. You do not punish as we deserve. In your great goodness, Lord, you have promised forgiveness to sinners that they may repent of their sin and be saved. And now, O oh Lord, I bend the knee of my heart and make my appeal, sure of your gracious, gracious goodness. I have sinned, O oh Lord, I have sinned, and I know my wickedness only too well. Therefore, I make this prayer to you. Forgive me, Lord, forgive me. Do not let me perish in my sin, nor condemn me to the depths of the earth. For you, O oh Lord, are the God of those who repent. And in me, you will show forth your goodness. Unworthy as I am, you will save me in accordance with your great mercy. And I will praise you without ceasing all the days of my life. For all the powers of heaven sing your praises and yours is the glory to ages of ages. Amen. The Apostles' Creed can be found on page 20. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. And just as a reminder, we'll be using the modern version of the Lord's Prayer. The Lord be with you. And your spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. O Lord, show your mercy upon us. Grant us your salvation. O Lord, guide those who govern us. And lead us in the way of justice and truth. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. And let your people 
thing with joy. Oh Lord, save your people. And bless your inheritance. Give peace in our time, O oh Lord. And defend us by your mighty power. Let not the needy, O oh Lord, be forgotten. Nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Free in us clean hearts, O oh God. And take not your Holy Spirit from us. The collect of the day, which is Tuesday after the first Sunday in Lent. Almighty God, whose blessed Son was led by the Spirit to be tempted by Satan, come quickly to help us who are assaulted by many temptations. And as you know, the weaknesses of each of us, let each one find you mighty to save through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. I call it for peace. O oh God, the author of peace and love of concord, to know you as eternal life and to serve you as perfect freedom. Defend us, your humble servants and all assaults for enemies, that we surely trusting in your defense may not fear the power of any adversaries through the might of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Now the time for prayer. Heavenly Father, I lift up our church and our neighborhood and all of the churches in our area and I ask, Lord, that you would empower these churches and especially their leaders to unite in love and minister to the people round about us. Yes, Lord, thank you for, um, thank you for your churches in Albuquerque, um, your church, your body of Christ in different denominations and different congregations. Um, thank you that we, uh, as long as we are our Christian worshiping you, the same Lord. Um, and so I pray that you would provide opportunities for unity, provide opportunities for uh, partnering at times. Um, we pray that you'd bless your church in Albuquerque, in Denver, in Ukraine, and Russia, and the rest of the world. Um, would you continue to grow your body of Christ? The general thanksgiving on page 25. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we are unworthy servants give you humble thanks for all your goodness and goodness. kindness to us and to whom you remain. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your measurable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts, we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days, through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace for Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit with us all evermore. Amen.